Hello everybody, it's day five of the 10 day challenge and have I got something special for you. Roll title. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to day five. Um, I hope you're keeping yourself busy and safe. Remember there are plenty of things to do. There are loads of things on uh, the internet as keep fit programs, there's loads of authors and other people like that, other celebrities finding things for you to do. Remember you can go to my website and uh, look at any of the videos that you might have missed. And of course there's Super Rabbit, which I'm doing every day. Hey, maybe you'd like to contact me and uh, tell me what you'd like to hear a little bit of next. Uh, but what I'm gonna do today is um, a couple of things. One is a secret, and I'm not gonna tell you until the end of the video. But the main one, I thought I'd do a bit of storytelling today, uh, mostly aimed at you guys down in reception in year one. So uh, get ready, I'm gonna tell you my own version of the enormous turnip. Hi everyone. So before we begin the enormous turnip, we will have to sit together in a circle. If I've been to your school and done some storytelling, you'll know. So, are we all ready? Good. So this is the story of the enormous turnip. A long time ago, in a land far away, if you noticed all the best stories start like that. A long time ago, in a land far away, there was a little girl. And her favourite thing in the whole world was to grow plants in her garden. One spring she decided to grow her favourite vegetable, the turnip. She got her fork and she dug up the land. <clears throat> ah, come on everybody. <clears throat> ah, <clears throat> ah. When the land was all dug up, she made a little furrow in the ground and sprinkled one by one ten seeds. Are you ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, one last one, ten. She covered up the seeds and waited for the sun and the rain to make the plants grow. By harvest time, when you pick all your vegetables and fruit, one of the ten turnips was enormous. So the girl decided it was time to pull it up and turn it into a delicious treat. She stood next to the turnip, grabbed the leaves as hard as she could and she pulled. Urgh, come on, everybody. Urgh. But no matter how hard she pulled, the turnip wouldn't come out of the ground. So she called for her best friend. The best friend put her arms around her waist and together they pulled and they pulled. But no matter how hard they pulled, the enormous turnip wouldn't come up. So the friend went and got her dog. And the dog grabbed the friend by the belt and the friend grabbed the girl around the waist and together they pulled three times. You ready? Pull! 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 But no matter how hard they pulled, the turnip wouldn't come out. So the dog went and got the fox. The fox grabbed the dog by the tail. The dog grabbed the friend by the belt. And the friend grabbed the girl around the waist. And together they pulled four times. <coughs> 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 
and no matter how hard they pulled, the turnip wouldn't come out. So the fox got the rabbit, and the rabbit grabbed the fox by the tail. The fox grabbed the dog by the tail. The dog grabbed the friend by the belt, and the friend grabbed the girl by her waist, and together they pulled five times. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five. But no matter how hard they pulled, the turnip just wouldn't come out. So the rabbit got the mouse, and the mouse grabbed the rabbit by the tail, and the rabbit grabbed the fox by the tail, and the fox grabbed the dog by the tail, and the dog grabbed the friend by the tail, and the friend grabbed the girl round the waist, and together they pulled five times again. One, two, three. Four, five, and this time, and the turnip came out with an enormous pop, and the girl fell on the friend, and the friend fell on the dog, and the dog fell on the fox, and the fox fell on the rabbit, and the rabbit fell on the mouse, but they all got up dusted themselves off and had a good laugh and went in to the girl's house and made the biggest, tastiest bowl of turnip soup there ever, ever was. And you know what? It lasted for weeks and weeks. And that is the story of the enormous turnip. There you go. And I know you year sixes, you were secretly enjoying that too, weren't you? Now, this is what I want you to do next. If you want, why don't you get your own cuddly toys and see if you can make up your own version. I wonder if you've got some superhero action figures. I wonder what would be so stuck in the ground that you'd need. Superman, Spider-Man, Hulk, Wonder Woman, Captain Marvel, you'd need all those heroes to pull them out of the ground. Who knows? So um, have a go at making it your own story. Maybe you could send me some pictures. That would be really nice. Get your teacher or your mum or whoever's looking at you at home to tweet the pictures to me or maybe use Facebook or you can email me through my website. Um, there's one last thing. Remember, I said there was one extra challenge and the extra challenge was to find uh, a little dog that I'll show you a picture of in a minute. So you're going to need to go back, watch the whole video again, see how many times you can find the dog. And then again, if you want, you can get your school to tweet me and tell me how many times you saw him. Anyway, have a great weekend. I've had a crazy week. I've been so busy making these videos and editing my books and all kinds of other things. So keep busy, stay safe, and I'll be back on Monday. You take care. Have a great weekend. Bye.